Hello, welcome back to our Starbound Fracking Universe Let's Play. Today, we're going for a spin on this Tidewater planet. Oh, blimey. It's all blue and pretty. And, ooh, hang on. I'm, I'm hurting. Uh, I think it's because I... Oh, so, oh, look at this. Oh, look, it's all high lottle stuff. Die, die. Actually, that really hurts. Can I just steal your bees? Thank you. So on a Tidewater planet? Just thought I'd have a look at it. Apparently, the water is all corrupt and that. But by the looks of it, there were bees for days here. Let's have a let's have a whack. Let's see what sorts of bees they are. Uh, do I have a yes? I have my butterfly net these days. Let's put it there, irritating over my healing. I got wave bird. Okay, wave birds are regular boring old starbound, so it has no place here. Right, I'm going to put these floral honeycombs actually in here, I think, and because they're actually healing, as it turns out, um, so that's rather handy of it. Um, okay, so let's actually go into the water. I believe because it's made of poison, I do need to actually um, fight against that. Because it's, it's a huge, a big old village. Huh, let's take all that. Uh, come on, I actually need to get to the water now. Oh, now there's no bloody water around. Yeah, hang on. Let's let's do this the fast way. Hey! There it is. Hup. Oh god, there's a mistake. Right, so this is poison and... Oh, I can't breathe. Hang on. Hang on. What is it? Which, which one is it? It's number three. Right, I'm eating that. This is food. Uh, grants increased poison damage resistance and poison immunity. So I'm, u I'm using... Hang on. I'm running out of breath. Uh-oh. I'm running out of breath. Um, do I have any breathers on me? Yes, I have that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was close. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm actually eating some um, floral honeycomb here to actually protect myself. I know I can't... You won't be able to see for a while. In fact, hang on a second. My other food here, the blister sack, should actually... Oh. That's giving me the tiniest amount of glow possible. Look at this! It's another black screen. <laughs> I've got glow, I've got radiation immunity... Hello, what's this? Oh, there is something at the bottom of this planet. I th thought for a second it was like, um, just all water. All the way to the bottom. Like the planet water in se Season 3 of Lex. So what is all this stuff? This is, um... Well, actually, what is the type of water here? Oh, dark water. I think we've seen that before. Oh, but this is all sorts of weird, isn't it? Oh, no, I keep on breaking things and making everything dark again. Why is this got a glowing sand stuff, though? It is the sand that's glowing, mate. Delicate coral. Oh dear, I'm just I'm breaking everything. <laughs> oh, now I've really broken everything. Nah, piss to it. Stupid bloody planet anyway. So I'm not quite sure what the point of a tide water planet really is. Let's have a quick look at the um here we are, I think this is the one. Tidewater, Thorium, Neptunium, Durasteel. Nothing particularly that exciting, I guess, really. Uh, but this is, um, the whole point of this episode really is because I want to explore this dark black star system. It's got all sorts of stuff. It's got shadow worlds, it's got sulfuric worlds, and I've got a few um, tricks to actually dodge sulfur now. And all sorts of other things as well, like um, penumbral planets. I think we've been to those before. So, let's go back to the lab and actually start crafting stuff that will help us. Down we go. I've tried to... um. Uh, arrange things so I know I, I know I've got everything that I need to do the crafting, so we're not spending forever doing it. And uh, but first, I want to make use of where is it? Da, 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 da. Here we go. Uh, the blood diamonds and the quietest bars. That we we found some of that last time, and I also found some off camera. The blood diamonds in particular, because it turns out, and we can make all sorts of things probably, um, including the one that most interested me. I want to replace my time sword with a slightly better and more interesting one. So I think it's the is it Knight's Blade, is it? We'll have to get something else, I think. Knight Blade, there it is. Requiring Quietus Bar, Blood Diamond, and Lunari Crystal. Which I suspect we've got a decent amount of. Yep, there we go. And with any luck, yeah, we can now start to make these things. This is a, that's only a, a short sword, don't want that. Emperor Blade? Oh, maybe I want this one instead. Um, the Emperor Blade, 3.5, oh, sorry, 35 damage, and Fire Slam. Versus the knight. Oh, the generals? There's all sorts of them. Oh! My god, I didn't realise there's, there's several of them. Uh, which one do I want, then? That's actually a bit piss in comparison. I want the, I want the great big one. I want the one that's actually going to tonk everyone. And where is it? The Emperor Blade. Yes! Look at the stats on that. Right. Let's bung that in. Our slot. Bye-bye, Time Sword. Never really use the time effects on that anyway, so... 
Oh, look at this bad boy. Also, all fiery and that. Cool. We can also um, cr use this um, blood diamond stuff and everything to craft armour. So it's actually the same stuff. We want the crimson stuff. Which, I believe... Let's click the... Here it is. Um, strong, resilient and fashionable. Grants immunity to ice, mud, fire, black tar, pus and sulfuric acid. I wish we found a load of sulfuric acid in the last episode, which has allowed us to craft a few things. But more importantly, it allows us to hopefully... What's it? Advanced alloy. And power core. Hmm. They may be a little... Advanced alloy might be a bit of a piss. Can I actually do that? Advanced alloy. I can. Um, but it's going to require scrounging up a load of stuff, so just give us a second. Hang on. Alright, I made sure I've got everything. <laughs> so, I need to make eight of these. Du -du 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 -du. Two power cores. Two of them. And then we should be able to hopefully make all the different armour pieces. So we go to the crimson stuff. Um, quiet, it requires four quietus bars and two blood diamonds. And that sh Oh god, yeah, I think this is... Might just be able to make them all. I didn't check them. Check all this as well as I thought, but yep, there we go. Oh, <laughs> just enough. So, now we can replace all this stuff that I've got on. There it is. With... Which way around is this? That way around. And... Oh, hang on. <laughs> got that wrong. Funky! Oh, look at that. Although it doesn't really go with my hat. My poor hat. Oh! Ah. Uh. Huh. Huh. Yeah, and that. Okay, I'll leave my hat on. <laughs> like a stripper. Alright, so here we go. So now I have um, 80 armour in total and all sorts of cool stuff. So in theory, now I've got some um, protection against sulfuric acid. Um, so let's go to a sulfuric acid planet then, I guess. Oh, oh I was going to make an ore detector as well. And um, that might be useful. So, <laughs> uh, hang on. Oh, god damn it. Uh, also, there's a, there's a few things I actually want to do. I'll, I'll do it later on, because um, we're on the move now. But I want to upgrade a few of these crafting stations. And also, well, other stuff as well. So, ore detector will likely be in here, won't it? Ore detector mech 3? Oh, it requires two more advanced alloys. Oh, God damn it. Ugh. Uh, hmm. Thankfully. Oh, well, I can upgrade this. I'm not going to do it now, though. Um, but, hmm. Yeah, that's one of the stations I kind of like wanted to upgrade, actually, along with um, other stuff. I also want to make a, uh, a gene sequencer, which I've now discovered we've got the tech level to make, which makes genes from scratch. Um, but yeah, we'll, um, we'll work that out later. Ore Detector 3 requires an Ore Detector 2, which I've got, and Power Core, Advanced Alloy, and m pretty much my last bit of Quietus. So I don't know why you need to upgrade this, I said, having just done it. Um, but it might be useful for something, so we'll put it in there, because I don't think I'm going to need that string again. Uh, and now we can go to our um, planet that we're going to, which is a sulfuric acid world. And hopefully, with my crimson armour on, you that should actually do it. Um, I've discovered after playing around... Hang on, let's um, find this place. That one. After clicking around, I've discovered that there's a few ways to make sulfuric acid protection. You can make an augment, like we've done before. Um, it's an acid shield augment. And the chitin armour, in which you make it the sewing machine, which apparently also provides sulfuric protection. I've been trying to play around with EPPs again, but um, I'm not sure if the um, this game has, uh, the, um, the mod has updated, but uh, there's a few things I... I'm finding it hard to actually find where the, um, the EPPs are now. Like, the thermal... The thermal shell that I made, I honestly can't find where I crafted that anymore. I'm not quite sure if I'm just being really dumb, or whether it's been, like, removed and crap. I, I don't know. Anyway, we're now here, so let's see if this armour actually does protect us. Let's go up here. Defence, regen, radiation immunity. Oh, I'm hurting. I'm hurting, but not in any kind of problematical way. What... That's one of those. I think we saw one of those. God, look at it. Okay. Something's hurting. Hang on. There's a simple solution. I think it might actually be the, um, whatever's raining from the sky. I think it might be like tar rain or something. Oh, it stopped anyway. 
Uh, let's try and let's have a bit of fun with it. Boom. 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 Oh my god! Tonk it! <laughs> there. It got tonked. Where's the secondary? Oh my god. Right, so that's the secondary on this, which is quite fearsome. And um, I didn't also I like, white spine shell. <laughs> also, I didn't actually bother to... Oh, there's loads of them. I didn't actually bother to look what sort of ore was on this planet, which might have been actually helpful to discover what we're actually searching for in the depths. Sword is actually quite tasty. Oh, some more sulphur. Sulf <laughs> sulfur. Uh, also out there, it's all, it's all gone horrible and windy. Well, let's increase our night vision a bit. Uh, have I actually got any of that now? I don't think I have it. I think I've got enough blister sack. Uh, we've also got some of this, because if, later on we'll try and get to a shadow world. And this, um, I've found, is good protection against all that sort of stuff. Okay, so let's do a little bit of a dig down. Oh, hello, what's that? Oh, Cinnabar! Oh, actually I think this might be, um, this might be stuff that's pretty much unique to this place, Cinnabar. I remember seeing that on the description um, earlier when I was preparing for the episode. Oh, good, that's that's good. That's some, a new thing, then. So that means, Although, actually, having said that, it didn't actually unlock anything. So maybe not. Maybe I've actually got it before, then. Let's have a little bit of a tour. Oh, what's, what's, what on earth is that? Other than that, there's a, um, a sort of geezer. Sulfuric stone, maybe? I don't know. I, I shouldn't have landed my spacecraft on top of it. There it is. Let's have a look. That's probably really evil and poisonous. Yeah, <laughs> never mind. Let's see what you are. Oh, it's healing. Uh, just about managed to get some of that. Also, I touched something really horrible. Yeah, this planet. Ooh, what's th that's something. Is there anything good? Oh no, it's, it's, it's a scorpion. <laughs> I was trying to mine a scorpion out. Hmm. Zerkies him again. Hmm. No. Fairly disappointing all around there, I think. Okay, I'm going to give this another go on a different one. Uh, this one. Uh, a sulfuric atmosphere is detected. Deadly pools of acid lie below in abundance. Iodine rich ore is detected. So I think this is the same. Yeah, here we go. Look, this is the same same stuff as last time. But Densinium. Actually, I don't think that we've actually got any of that. That, I believe, does unlock some interesting stuff for the future, so I do actually want to get some of this. Oh, it's another boring planet, isn't it? And it's also dark. I'm not I'm still not really sure what the point of this... I mean, this this bloody ore detector, Mark 3, does not seem to be any better than Mark's bloody 1 and 2. I actually think we skipped 1. Oh. Doing. Doing. That, maybe, that, maybe that's different. For, oh, it's Ferozium! Huh, I haven't seen that yet for a while. It's old school Starbound. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> I didn't find any Densium, which is a bit of a pain in the arse, but I did stock up on so much stuff. I'm just going to quickly offload it all. Get rid, is what I say. I have to, I'll turn it into other stuff later on. Um, it's pretty much all that. And diamonds and, and Zakesium. Blood, blood. Inferior brain? It's like a callback to one of the very early um, versions of Starbound, where you assembled that funny robot thing. Huh, that was a long time ago. Right, anyway, let's build that bloody gene sequencer that we we're going to do. Um, gene sequencer will be under here. Zerke oh, bloody hell. There's the Zerkesium I just got rid of. Alright, there's Zerkesium, which is the brown stuff. There it is. Not much of this left. Although I did pick up a load of ore, so I could sort that out. Gene sequencer. The, oh, hello, new quest! The gene sequencer is usual produced genes that you've already discovered without needing to melt down seeds in the Xenolab. Oh, useful! Also, poo. And I didn't even know this was a quest. Oh, right. Um, so, yes. Fine. So, now I've got some fertiliser. Hooray. Right, so where am I going to put this? Well, presumably next to all these stations. Oh, it's tiny! It's a wee! A wee little station! Put it there. Right next to all the other stuff. Because that's where all the things are. But that's comically tiny. Oh! Useful! Actually, it is, because some of these stuff is. Yeah, that is actually quite good. 
Uh, but I haven't actually been playing around with this much recently, to be honest. Not quite sure what I really need out of it. Nah, don't need to worry about that. Well, fuck it. <laughs> Let's see if we can actually upgrade the bloody botany lab, actually, because this is something that we should have been doing. Um, so it needs, this needs titanium and glass. And plus other stuff that I've already got, for some reason. Titanium and glass. Silver. Iron. <sighs> Tungsten. I think titanium is the white stuff, isn't it? Might have to do some converting. I can't obviously see titanium. Oh, found it. And we also need a bit of glass. Which is... That's advanced plastic. Oh, so... Now we can upgrade. Ooh. The gene design lab. Doesn't look any different. <laughs> uh, well, if we ever get round to doing more of this sort of stuff, uh, all the um, all the gene splicing and all that sort of nonsense, that'll be really handy. Um, but for now, bugger it. Uh, hopefully we can upgrade this and all. Zerkesium, oh god. Zerkesium again. Well, have we, did we actually get... How much ore did we get from it? Berlinite. Core fragments. Got loads, quite a few of those from that bloody planet. Oh, there it is. Zerkesium ore. Bug it through here. As much as we can. And... Oh, we still need the gold. It's just a spy of gold. Only three bits of gold. Bloody hell. Alright. And we've built a... <laughs> a clothing fabricator. Admiral Bottoms and Admiral Top. <laughs> I think they should get married. <laughs> this is the yeah, same stuff as before. But just a few more, obviously a few more things, which I don't actually rec recognise from previously. Like, there's quite a lot of st armoury stuff that is definitely new. Sanguine. It's, oh, okay. Made out of blood diamond and blood and synthetic material. And it's bloody comfortable. Well, of course it is. Not really useful for much. I um, mean, it gives us... It's got mediocre armor, really. Eh. And there's other ones as well, I guess. But none of this is as good as the stuff that you make on the thing over here. Uh, so that is yeah, a bit piss. Oh, they're, they're the blister pods down there. Right. I haven't harvested these for a while. I'm just gathering these up because... I might actually want some some more... Um, where is it? Blister Sack, that's the one I wanted. And this is the night vision thing, which might actually be helpful when we go to the Shadow Planet next. So I might as well stock up on that. Cow! Oh, I've let the cow out! Oh, I've milked the cow! God damn it. Actually, this, should, this needs to be upgraded at some point. The medical station. Only requires a quantum processor. Oh! That's the only thing that we can, actually. Huh. Stroke a look. Let's see if there's enough space. That's not really a very impressive thing. A health centre! Um, I don't know what else that actually makes. I reckon that's a lot of stuff that's new, though. A Hermes pill? Makes me go faster. Stops you slipping and sticking. So presumably if we, if we go to a bouncy place again, that would stop that. Oh, that gives that actually gives us bounce. So that gives you bounce and that sort of takes it. Well, I don't know. Not sure if that's exactly what I need. Anyway, no, that's no, that's a, even vaguely useful. Right, let's go and find the shadow planet. Um, we, we'll have dark vision and we also have something to eat for shadow taint. So with any luck, we will actually be prepared for whatever it throws at us. Shadow world, here we go. Also quietus and blood diamond, but also penumbrite. And more densinium. Oh, God. What are the chances we find that? Well, I don't think we've been to a Shadow World in this series. Maybe very early on, when I wasn't prepared for it. Okay, so this time I've got Night Vision in there. And Shadow Damage Resistance and Shadow Taint Immunity there. And plus we've got Weapons for Days. I have a feeling I should rearrange this better. Let's have a go anyway. Yeah, I don't know how, how I'm going to arrange this. Oh, it's just a nice planet. Right, what's happening here? I'm getting deadly chill. And I'm losing my stamina. Extreme cold. Oh, hang on. I might need to change my armour. Maybe this is maybe this is too cold for the likes of me. At the moment. I didn't think about this. Oh, here we go. Yep, I have to put on my radium stuff again, though. 
Um, because that's the one with the, the deadly cold protection. Alright. So what was that protecting us against anyway? Oh, that was a sulfuric acid. Yeah, I don't actually need that anymore. Although it's actually slightly better armour though. Right, let's go back again. <laughs> it's not actually that dark. I've definitely seen darker. Hello, what's down there? The landscape is all artificial. Oh, it's, it's, it's stuff! It is actually stuff. Um, I should probably have decanted some stuff, actually, because um, I think my inventory is still absolutely crammed full. Yeah, some of it is. Oh, that's... there's no wonder here. More sulfuric acid. Yeah. Look at that. I'm slipping all over the place. I... oh, black tar. What? Oh god, I've got so much stuff. I never bother getting rid of all this stuff because it all never seems very interesting, whatever, so it'll just end up building up. Brain. Oh, I can't throw my brains away. Brains. And some corruption. Yeah. Magma rock. Probably never need that. Although I've, I don't like throwing things away because I know they could be put to use, if you know what I mean. That was a metal cargo crate. That was not very interesting. I should think we should get back onto the surface. Oh, blood! Oh dear, I've just broken the planet. <laughs> Let's try that again. I might actually jump in my ship. I don't seem to be suffering from any, like, shadow taint or anything. Which I was a bit worried about. Oh, it's getting a bit snowy. Right, let's go. Let's just start shooting. <laughs> hey! Yeah, let's leave them behind. Leave them well behind. Oh, there's some, um... Oh, hello, mate. Got you. These aren't very tough, are they? I don't think this is a very difficult planet. I just want to make sure that I do get any kind of um, seeds or whatever. This is just basically a, a snow planet, isn't it? A frozen planet. Doesn't seem to be anything particularly exciting about it. Well, the fact that it's going to be dark all the time. Oh, there's some there's some bandits. Oh no 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 no! Don't kill don't kill my matey boy. Die! Hang on, let's um quickly. Oh god, no, the bandits are here. Oh dear. No, nope, that's that. Bye. <laughs> That was turning into a bit of a three, well, a bit of a four-way fight between absolutely everything and everyone. What's going on here? There's another mate. Many things for sale, and he's going to die in all. Why are you, why are you selling things in such an extreme environment, you twat? Right. You're selling methanol and tissue culture. Well, aren't you lovely? Look at this. Nice little perch. Oh, I've, I've turned your thing off. How do you feel? Hmm. Should I go and have a dig down for some de- Oh, hello. That's a cosy little place you've got. I wonder if we should do a dig down for some densinium here. Oh my god, look, there's an alli a huge alligator breathing snow clouds of death. Oh! Wow, this is getting weird. This planet suddenly got strange as strange can be. Let's let's not do that. I'm being chased by... Th God only knows what. This is a bit tougher and all. Alright, so let's investigate these things. See what they are. S energy wood. Most peculiar. Meanwhile, this is... Oh, it's more bloody geo steel. And some triangulium. Right on the planet's surface. Luxury. There we go. Get some of that. See if they have any use. No, that's you know, just went away from the rest of them. Oh my Jesus, what the hell is any of that? Wow. Later, that same day. Hello. Just passing through. <laughs> so yeah, it does occur to me that um the whole biomes thing means that, yeah, there is going to be some boring old normal starbound biomes in the game as well, even on a cool shadow planet. And this really is just a frozen biome, isn't it? Uh, so I'm just gonna, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm going the other way around the planet this time. But yeah, by the seams of it, I actually have to go, go a certain distance. Oh, bloody hell. Scientists. I'll go a certain distance before the interesting biomes do reveal themselves. As usual, as we found with the explorer pod, um, thingy we bought, um, mod, when you, actually, when you actually do use shuttlecraft to go around the planet really fast, the game takes uh, 
you actually see the game loading in action and it's, it's a bit... Yeah, it's not great. Also, my ship is now taking damage, you can see. There's a break on the hull and... Hello, it's gone tropical. We're going into a tar biome now. Huh. Oh, God. Oh, I'm just... I've landed in it. Actually, is this... No, it's oil! Oh, found some oil, lads! Remember that episode where we couldn't find oil? Well, I found some oil. <laughs> Usefully. Can't remember why we wanted oil now. Alright, so finally for today, as we finish our exploration of the, the Dark Star System, or whatever the hell it's called, we're going to try looking at the Unknown Planet. Potentially lethal, a, a tier 7. But it's got Pyrite, which I don't believe we've found so far in the series. So, actually better go to the planet instead of just looking at it. Um, let's try this out. I know previously, I think the, in the very first episode, we, um, we went to a, a completely unknown planet, and it turned out to be a planet of honey, which was most peculiar. Let's see what this one holds. Okay, lads, let's hold hands and go down together. Come on. Oh! Alright. Weird. Like a flesh planet with some very dramatic music. It's all parpy and that. There's a sign. Oh! Mate. Mate! What the f Jesus, did that just that blew up half the planet! Look at that! Alright. Let's get some healing down, me gob. There's another one. Oh, I'm a bit scared. Uh, maybe if I um, kind of leave over the gap when no one's looking. Oh god, it's some. Ow, 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 ow. It's, it's really tough. It's tough. It is not hang. It is. It, oh god, it's not hanging about. There's actually a nice little chest here. A rusty chest. Behavior module. No idea what that is. And a metal cleaver. A very good broadsword. Um, damage per swing six thirty. Um, which actually um, holds up very well against the one I've already got. Plus a wart weed. Look at that. Rusty chest. I haven't seen a rusty chest before. I'm running away from here. Run. Oh. Oh, you're, you've got, you're spewing. You're a spewer and you're not friendly. Uh, so this is like a bit of a scorched biome, I guess. A bit like one, but different in the fact that it's full of bastards. Something's hurting. Oh, is it? No, it's not. A bandit. Oh. Some solarium. Won't say no to that. That's a really terrible rifle, so I'm not going to linger on that. So yes, it's like a cross between scorched and flesh. More solarium. Huh. Wonder if there's any densinium. More solarium. A avian flappy up in the air airship. Gold. <laughs> yes. Alright. And some of that as well. So I'm not going to go up to this ship in the sky, but by the looks of it, it's a very red planet in the daytime. Careful. Oh. Jesus, it's doing its thing again. It's very tough. Tr trying to do a bit of healing now. Hup, hup. Jesus! What a bastard of a baddie! Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them! I'm trying, I'm trying to heal on the move. Oh! Bloody hell! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Ow! You shit! Diamond shit! Oh. Well, fine. I'm determined to see what else is down there. We didn't find any of that pyre diaries. Or. Oh. Found a lot of solarium, which might be useful for something. Ooh, what's that liquid down there? It's. Oh, it's water. It's water! Common or garden water. And if we go down here, it's still red and stuff. Most mysterious. I've just found a rusted console. Oh, it's one of you. All over the place. And you. Die. Jump! But by the looks of it, when you kill them, they, they actually drop the behaviour modules. Which may I say be useful for something. We also just seem to have fallen into a a rather annoying uh, midnight biome. Yeah. Right, where is this stuff then? See what this is. Mass uh, piss. That's no good. No, no one cares about that. And that's coal. Uh, right, hang on. Another bit of crafty editing might be in order here. Is this one of those um? 
colourless planets that I saw very early on in the series, and I think someone pointed out in the comments, this is not a glitch. It's... Oh no, it's... Oh, look at that! It's not, it's... Oh, we've sort of found a little oasis of trees and underground f forests. I, I need to actually sort out my saw. There we go. I just placed a load of wood down, marvellously. Die! No, it doesn't seem to be hurting me too much. There we go. Look at this! It's just like a really normal, kind of, uh, one of the really early forest planets, only deep underground. Huh. Look, it's a cavern! Ah, how lovely. Although there's a mate down there. I don't, don't like the look of him. He's also reasonably tough. But not for long. Well, yeah, this is, yeah. Same as, same as any other place, really. Just, um, it's like a spring, maybe like a spring biome. There's carrots. Huh. Is there any little underground world? I found some hops as well. Didn't need to buy them after all. This is it's just the location, which... Look, it's a bear! And a, a, a much tougher bear than normal, admittedly, but a bear nonetheless. Hup! Die. And this is all the all the food I could ever need, just in a very peculiar place. Huh. What a surprise. Well, still no interesting ore, though. So I think we might have to bring this to a close. I'll again, I'll, off camera, I'll do a bit more digging around on these planets to try and find... Oh, piss. Well, that brought that to an end. Okay, so that's the dark star type. Well, it's actually a black star. I'm just having a look at another another one nearby. Um, a dark primeval forest. I think we went to one of those, didn't we? Um, and there's other ones. Another dark one. Another unknown one. Oh, a, a magma sea. Ooh. Prick. And also a frozen place. And also another madness place, uh, which we um, did last time. Uh, that brilliant Reaver Madness joke. That was that was so good. <laughs> um, anyway, okay, so do subscribe for future episodes of this, and I shall see you next time. Bye-bye.